So here I'm going to try and to get a feel for the sensitivity of the accelerometer. It's here and I'm just going to drop it on the, the foam here and to see what the output looks like. So that was a one centimeter drop and you can see it's a fairly big signal. It's uh, nice and smooth because it's dropping onto foam. And you can see it doesn't take much. A centimeter and a half will saturate the the accelerometer or the uh, vibration sensor. So it's not normally used as an accelerometer, I guess, but it's certainly very sensitive to small accelerations. So that gives me an idea that I don't really need a huge signal to drive this thing. Now I'm going to just try dropping it directly onto the plastic and we get a lot of bouncing around and huge signals and I'm just dropping it here about three millimeters and it's going crazy both plus and minus you can see that it's saturating both positive and negative here with just a one centimeter drop onto plastic so it's nice and sensitive and I'm going to use that property to try and measure some small signals another little interesting experiment I'm going to try is just take some wine glasses and clink them together let's try that and let's do that again Okay, so there's a major oscillation here, ringing as it uh, decays. So the period is about 200 milliseconds, which is a pretty low frequency. But if we look at the actual tone coming out of the the glass that we hear as a, a nice a nice sine wave its period is more like two milliseconds which is 500 Hertz which is a nice tone so I don't know what the practical use of this would be in terms of measuring glasses ringing but perhaps some kind of quality control you can just uh, give your little glasses a tinkle and see if they're they've got the right pitch Okay, remember the ruler? Well, here I've mounted the, the vibration sensor right on the end of the ruler, and I'm just going to clamp it to the table and hopefully get a little vibration going. Okay, we can see the frequency here of this ruler which is uh, clamped at about two and a half inches and it is uh, vibrating at uh, about 40 30 or 40 milliseconds per cycle so a pretty low frequency and you can see that this 
the vibration sensor is saturating both positive and negative here and even when it's not saturating it's the same frequency so as I feared this uh, ruler is vibrating too violently to keep it in bounds but it's still telling us the frequency of vibration so this is a sweep of a real speaker with Bode plot from 100 hertz up to 20 kilohertz with the vibration sensor mounted on the side so this is what it looks like here the micro the uh, vibration sensor is just glued on the side here with this amazing um, wax glue it's a three inch speaker and I'm not really liking that plot it, it, it's pretty crazy of course it's not a hi-fi speaker either but uh, this uh, vibration sensor is telling me a lot about speakers which I had not realized this is the same body plot but using the microphone instead of the vibration sensor and you can see the response is different with the microphone than the vibration sensor and a lot of that has to do with the fact that the vibration sensor is mounted on the case of the speaker and it's really not measuring the same thing as the microphone but this is a lot more like what I think I'm hearing from the this actual speaker I wanted to try a stringed instrument but since I don't have one I rigged up a string onto a sound saddle here or a bridge and onto this plastic box and here's the vibration sensor so I can adjust the tension by pushing down on this side and strumming on this side and you can see that the waveform is captured here and I've got it set 156 Hertz and depending on how 155 Hertz depending on how hard I push it I can get different frequencies 163 and just that little strumming of course is saturating the, the vibration sensor but it's still picking up the the uh, vibration when it uh, gets to be a lower amplitude so this is uh, this sensor is capable of tuning guitars and violins and pianos and any stringed instrument it's a pretty neat little sensor it has a lot of versatility anything that vibrates this thing is your sensor so let's see if I can get it to focus okay now it's focused on the oscilloscope so you can actually see the waveform pretty nice for those that saw my intro with my little uh, device here that can sense a bouncing ball I just want to prove that these this uh, sensor is even more sensitive so this is the vibration sensor and I'll just be dropping this ball in fact just about one inch and we can look at it up on the scope if I drop it about two inches it can saturate the, the vibration sensor so another quick test of uh, <clears throat> how sensitive it is I just want to get a feel for the kinds of things that it can do and how big the signal is so this is just a quick test of the sensitivity just to get a feel for how sensitive it is and what I want to do is test the proverbial pin drop to see if it can detect a pin drop so this is a 
little pin and it definitely detects that. Just dropping it from a few millimeters can give a huge signal. And I even have a really tiny little needle here. So you can't drop even a tiny little sliver of a needle without causing a major signal. So here's a business card. And I'm not even going to drop it. I'm just going to let it rotate down. And it's even saturating. Just this is a fairly thin business card, and it's whacking the sensor. So this sensor is very sensitive, and that's good because we can now detect some very small vibrations. This is one more vibration test because I've used this bottle before. So here we have the vibration sensor mounted on the bottle. I actually have a piezoelectric disc on the other side uh, which is connected to this orange channel so the yellow channel is still the microphone and the blue channel of course is the vibration sensor and I'm going to use my heat gun to blow some air across the top of the bottle and try and get a tone to show up on the, the vibration uh, scope here So we can focus on the scope trace there. Um, frequency looks like 111 hertz. And it definitely is vibrating. All three traces are showing the same frequency with a bunch of noise. You can see that the microphone is picking up the fan noise as well. And some of that fan noise is even coupling into this thing. So. Pretty interesting.